and Swiss Pro term, right? Yeah, so what I did is I took all of your Swiss Pro IDs yeah. for all of your annotations and just made a list of those, just non-redundant. Mm -hmm. And then I took a list of your Swiss Pro IDs that were from the Differential Express genes, and I have swept these two lists now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the software called David that looks for enrichment. Um, enrichment of genes being expressed. Yes. Um, well, don't you already know that about the PDI? These are differentially expressed genes, so we know those are differentially expressed. But now we, we're doing what we call an enrichment analysis. Mm -hmm. Say if you had a lot of genes that were, majority of your genes that were differentially expressed were associated with growth, mm -hmm. but... So you're like weighting them according to... to what's what they, there. What your they back. do. No, or, yeah, what they do, but based on your backbone or your reference, or what you have out there. So the first thing I'm going to do is, it's a, this is a Swiss Pro Unipro accession number, and I'm going, that's your gene list. And now I'm going to upload your, your, the backbone, so everything that's being expressed. Um, so now you can do the, all these cool categories. We got it. So you can actually I can trans things involved in translation, glycoprotein metabolic processes, aging. These are all go go processes that are significantly enriched. Okay, so what we have to do now is we got to capture all of this data um, as best we can because it doesn't it doesn't save. Oh. 